Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add different weapon types to our weapons and also how to play different animations based on which weapon we have currently equipped. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to create an animation. So we're gonna go into the content browser, right click, blueprints and animation and I'm gonna call it a new weapon type. Then we can open it and what enumeration is, it's basically a list of different elements. So when we click on the add enumerator, we added a new element. So we have the display name and description. We can ignore the description, but we are going to need the display name. So I'm going to add two more and I'm going to change the names real quick. Now, as you can see, I changed the first one to none and the first element in the enumeration is the default one and it's just generally a good practice to have the default one be now. Then we have the sword and then we have spear. You can add as many different types of weapons as you want. I'm just going to add these two for the purposes of this video. So we can then close this. Then we are going to need a weapon base for all of our weapons. So we have this BP sword that we created in the previous videos. So I'm just going to rename it to weapon base. And then we can open this and as you can see it's the exact same blueprint that we created before that's just attacking and has the basic logic for doing damage and collisions so what we are gonna do is we're just gonna add a new variable here and it's gonna be the weapon type and then we are gonna set the type to the enumerator that we just created then when we compile and save this as you can see under the default value we can say which weapon type it is and since this is just the base of our weapon we want to keep it as none because it doesn't have any specific weapon type then we are going to go into content browser again right click our weapon base create child blueprint class and i'm gonna call this bp sword and then i'm gonna right click our weapon base again create child blueprint class and i'm gonna call this bp spear open both of these up now what we want to do here is when we have the bp sword selected we should have the weapon type under our default so i'm gonna select this and i'm gonna change this to sword because this is gonna be our sword weapon then we can just close this and with the spear what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna first change the static mesh so i'm gonna search for spear then we can also change the collision and all that i'm just gonna keep it like this because we are not really doing anything with it in this video then we are gonna go into the self and then we are gonna change the weapon type to spear and we are gonna compile this and save this and we can close this as well so now that we have two different weapons we also need to be able to pick those weapons up and we have this pick up weapon blueprints that we created before so when we open this it's a really simple blueprint when we go into the viewport we only have the static mesh and then when we select the static mesh and go all the way down make sure it's generating overlap events and then the collision presets is overlap all so we can actually work over the blueprint and we are going to go into the event graph and then we have the actor begin overlap we are casting to our player blueprint we are getting the weapon which if you remember if i go into my player blueprint it's this child actor attached to our hand and that's how we are equipping weapons and then we are setting the child actor class basically slotting in our weapon blueprint into our weapon slot so what we are gonna need to do here is we are gonna need to create a new variable so we are gonna click on variables and then we are gonna call this weapon to pick up and it's gonna be the type of the base weapon that we have. So I'm gonna search for weapon base. And then when you mouse over it, instead of object reference, we want class reference. That means it's gonna be purple instead of blue. And then we can drag it in and get it. And also we are gonna need to make sure when with it selected is that it's instance editable and exposed on spawn. Then we can just plug it into our set child actor class. Then we are gonna drag from it and we are gonna get class defaults. And what this node does is basically just gets us all the variables that are in that blueprint. We don't have to do anything with the base damage, but we want the weapon type. So now we are going to go into our player blueprint and we are going to add a variable here as well, which is going to be equipped weapon. And it's going to be of the type of the enumerator that we created. So it's going to be called weapon type. Compile and save it. Then we are going to go back into our pickup weapon. And we are going to drag out from our player character that's discussed over here. And we are going to search for set equipped weapon. And we can just plug it into our set child actor. From the class defaults, we are gonna get the weapon type and plug it into the equipped weapon. And we can just drag from it and search for destroy actor. And so what this does is when we walk over a weapon, we are checking what class it is. And then based on that class, we are gonna set the class of our weapon. And then we are also sending the information of what that weapon class type is. And we are setting that as the currently equipped weapon. So when we compile this and save this, we can go into our level. And I'm just gonna drag in our pickup weapon right here. And then I'm gonna duplicate it with Ctrl D and just put them next to each other like this. And the first one, 
under the default we have the weapon to pick up so you can click on this and as you can see the only three things that is showing us is the weapons because we set it as the weapon base class reference so i'm just gonna set the first one to sword and then the other one to spear then if you want to with this spear pickup you can click on the static mesh and then change it to whatever you want so here I'm just gonna change it to spear so we know which one is which. And this is basically all you need to do for the different weapon equip type. Like I promised, I'm also gonna show you how to change the animations based on the equipped weapon type. So when we go into our player blueprint and into event graph, it should have something along the lines of this. So basically this is after we merged our punching and our uh, armed combat. So we have the punching here and we are not gonna touch this here, although you could merge it together with all of these systems and that's probably gonna be another video for the next time. So we have this here which is playing our sword slash animation if we have weapon currently equipped so i'm gonna just break this link with left alt and then i'm just gonna take these nodes drag them a little bit here then what we are gonna do is we are gonna get the equipped weapon get it drag from it and search for switch and it's already gonna create switch based on that enum we created we can plug it into the false and then what we are just gonna do is we're gonna get these nodes duplicate them below each other like this and then we can just plug it in like this basically sword goes into sword and spear is gonna go down here and then we can change the animation so this is gonna be the sword so i'm gonna keep this animation as is but this is gonna be spear so i'm gonna change the animation to spear slash that i have right here and that's basically all you need to do to play different animation so how does this work it's actually really simple we have the left mouse button which is our keybind for an attack then we have branch that's checking if we have currently any weapon equipped if we don't then we go into punching and we could also reroute it to go from none but like i said that's a topic for a different video then we are checking our equipped weapon variable which is getting updated through pickup of weapons and if you have some kind of equipment or inventory system already then you are gonna need to do that from there and then basically we are just switching animation based on which weapon type you have currently equipped and always remember to slot in your animation so now when we compile and save this and when we are in the play as you can see when i attack with no weapon equipped we are just punching then when i go and i pick up a sword we are doing this animation and then when we pick up the spear we have a different animation i hope you found this helpful if you did leave a like subscribe it helps out a lot thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye